I bought these two toy dinosaurs for 59 cents each at my local discount store and I'm going to be turning them into miniatures for Dungeons and Dragons. The sculpts are quite nice considering the price but there's quite a few mold lines and gaps which I'll have to remove and fill up before I can get started with the painting. Since the plastic on these toys is quite soft it turned out to be quite hard to remove the mold lines. And to fill up the gaps I used some milliput. After this I cut out some bases from scrap pieces of foam board. Dinosaurs are huge creatures in Dungeons & Dragons and they typically require a 75 by 75 mm base or 3 by 3 inches. However, I thought this was slightly too big so I gave them a 3 by 2 inch or 75 by 50 mm base. After these were cut out and I beveled the edges, I glued the dinosaurs to them and I glued some sand and small rocks onto the bases to give it a nice texture. Once the millipit and the glue on the base had dried, I primed them with the Zenithal highlight. To base coat these models I used Army Painter Speed Paints and I used their original color design as inspiration. To get a nice transition I simply used wet blending. I quickly switched between the green and the brown color I used, which were hardened leather and orc skin. For the other dinosaur I only used grey floored grey. To paint the bases, I once again used hardened leather, mixed with a drop of Hive Dweller Purple to add some variation in the colors. To prevent the speed paints from reactivating when they get wet, I give them a quick spray with some matte varnish before I continued with painting. I then applied a black wash all over the grey dinosaur and a brown wash on its base to give it all a bit more depth. While this was drying, I painted the claws and the mouth of the other dinosaur with Rhinox height and I painted its mouth with a dark pink color. After this I also covered this dinosaur and its base in a brown wash. The next day I painted both of their eyes yellow, I dry brushed the grey dinosaur with a lighter grey, I finished up their mouths and I did a few touch ups here and there. I then dry brushed their base with an off white colour, added some crest tufts and gave them both a final coat of matte varnish. And this is how they turned out! I'm quite happy with the result, especially since they're two dinosaur toys for only 60 cents each. If you like budget projects like this, check out this video where I make a skirmish board from wooden panels I found in the trash. And if you have any suggestions for anything you'd like to see me try, leave it down below in the comments. Goodbye!